Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. This is what the shades look like in here. It's very reflective, so I'll try to avoid that. I am wearing the shade Ethereal today, which does appear to be kind of purple in the pan, but it's not super purple on my face. It tends to be kind of pink. Most of the shades in this glow kit sort of turn a pink on me. The closest formula I have found to this would be the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighters. Um, the Nicole Guerrero from ABH is also similar. The shades in here are not super unique, though they are pretty. Anyway, on to the video. In today's video, we're going to be going through my Sephora Play Box. So the Sephora Play Box is a subscription box that's $10 a month. You can get it through the Sephora website or on their app, and then every month it's going to ship something to you. I believe that it's customized through your profile, sort of, what shade ranges of things they're going to send you, but it's kind of hard to tell, and I sort of get a mishmash of things, including stuff that definitely does not match my skin tone, so I think they just guess a lot of the time. You're going to get six samples in there. Generally, one of them is perfume. I'm happiest when I get mostly makeup, but you know, you often will get some skincare and hair care as well, and I've certainly received some stuff that I do really like. First, we're going to take a look at June's box. So I did receive six samples in there, and I'm just going to go through each one of them and let you know how it went for me. The one product I didn't actually get to use was from Cover FX. That is the perfect setting powder in light medium. It's just a little tiny powder. I'm trying to use up another powder right now as part of my project pan. So as soon as that's over, that's the next powder I'm going to take with me. But I just haven't opened it yet. I'm trying not to keep too many things open. Otherwise, I lose track of how long stuff has been open. I do intend to use it, and I have heard good things, so I'm excited about that. From Too Faced, I got a melted matte liquefied longwear matte lipstick in the shade Queen Bee. That's what I'm wearing today. I do rather like this lipstick, and I found that the product does last pretty long. It's good for work. Um, it tends to go a little gray on me towards the end of the day. I found that very interesting. It becomes less pink and more gray, which is fine. I just sort of look like, like a very faded Victorian photo sometimes when I'm wearing it, especially after a couple of hours. I'm like, oh, did it look like that when I started? And the answer is no. It definitely fades in a very interesting way. But it is pretty, and I do like the formula. Uh, I definitely like it better than I used to. Uh, I find it far less annoying. It does pretty well. It doesn't really transfer on anything. Um, so I would probably try some other shades in the line because I'm actually impressed with how it's wearing. I also got from Living Proof a no frizz nourishing styling cream. I have used it on my hair, although not today, although I suppose I could use it because it's very humid. It's very hot in New York City right now. Uh, I did think that this stuff worked okay. I didn't think it smelled particularly great, but it, it appeared to be controlling the frizz if I was using it. However, it just wasn't my favorite product in the box this month. I was just sort of like, eh, I've been mostly using my Way Wave Spray from the previous month. I love that stuff. It smells great. So I wasn't always enthusiastic about adding additional products. If I already had one that I really liked, I just wasn't reaching for this one. From Mara jo, I received a shampoo and conditioner, uh, which is a deep treatment butter and a nourishing cleansing cream, but it, it's shampoo and conditioner essentially. Uh, and I used that when I was on a trip. I thought it smelled pretty good. My hair seemed pretty happy with it. It was one of those days I was outside in the sun all day. So I liked it. I did use the whole packet in one go. I didn't wasn't able to like save half of it for later. Sometimes I'm able to do that with the shampoos and the conditioners, but not this one. I thought it was fine. It's not something I would purchase a full size of. I also got a mini size of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I love that stuff. I think it's great. I'm actually wearing some today. I gave that particular one to my friend because she was interested in trying it out and I already have one of my own, but I do think that stuff is awesome. It smells wonderful. And last from the Clinique, I got the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. Uh, I think that stuff is fine. I've been using it. I also have a Lancome one that's highly similar to it. It's one of those oil-based cleansers that, you know, will take stuff off at the end of the day. I like it fine. It works perfectly well. Did I need it? No, but now I don't have to buy another one. And now let's jump right into the bag. So this is what the bag looks like this month. This one is pretty generic. Usually they have some sort of, like, pithy saying on the front. Today it just says, Play. Um, I don't know what's in it. I won't be keeping this bag because it's kind of rough feeling. Um, something sounds like uh, like breath mints or something like an Altoids box. I don't think that's what it is though. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Okay. Oh, it's from Tarte. It's a blush. It's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. This is last year's birthday blush. So they've just decided to uh, throw that in a play bag. That's real cheap of you, Sephora. I'm not super psyched about that. This is also the blush I've been trying to project pan for months. Um, it's a good blush. It's perfectly fine. Um, it's a nice matte, like, pinky blush. Nothing wrong with it. Plastic thing fell off somewhere. I'll find that later. Yeah, I'm not super psyched about that. That just seems really lame. That's a lame gift. This is the same as the Sephora birthday gift, and they clearly just have a bunch of them in stock that they don't know what to do with it. So they're shoving it at all of us in our play subscriptions. That's dumb. Let me put it to you this way. This blush is fine. 
it's not like it's a bad blush. I'm just so sick of this blush that well, just, I don't even want to keep it. So I'll be decluttering this one. Okay, let's see what else is in here. A little cardboard box. I'm assuming this is an eye moisturizer. And this is from Biosance. This is a squalane and probiotic gel moisturizer that hydrates, brightens, and balances skin. A weightless gel moisturizer infused with squalane and probiotic technology to help restore natural health and beauty reduces the effects of daytime stressors, leaving skin brighter and more balanced. I'll probably just put this with the rest of my skincare. To be honest, if I opened every single moisturizer and eye cream that came in a Sephora play bag, I'd have like 10 of them open and none of them would be finished because it's difficult to use up one tiny little jar, let alone seven tiny little jars. So uh, unless one of my friends expresses interest in this, it's probably just gonna sit for a little while. So I'm warning you there, I'm probably not gonna get to try this one out. This is probably shampoo. Ah, uh, no, this is from Briogeo. This is the Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Creme. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. So you're supposed to put this on your hair before you blow dry it and then it will protect your hair. I almost never blow dry my hair because it takes forever. My hair is very, very thick and so it can be very ridiculous. It can take two hours to blow dry my hair if I want it to be completely dry and that's silly. Uh, so I probably won't be keeping this one. I'll just declutter this to a friend. I'm trying to see if I can guess what it is from the feeling of the container. Now I already got a product from Tarte, but if I had to guess this would feel like a Rainforest of the Sea lipstick, so if that is, mm, yeah it is. It's in the shade Salt Life. Yeah, I've already had this lipstick before, I think it's perfectly nice, but I decluttered it because it's a very basic nude um, that I've had before, you know, nothing super psyched about it. This came in one of the Sephora favorites boxes, so that's how I got it, and I thought it was fine, and then I decluttered it, again, like I said already, and I'll be decluttering this one too. Alright, I'm pretty sure I know what this is too, I'm just hoping I don't know what color it is. Oh, I was wrong! This is from the Alginist, this is the Genius Liquid Collagen, oh, what does this do? After cleansing and toning, apply to entire face, neck, and décolleté. For optimal results, follow with moisturizer. So I suppose this is just supposed to make my skin beautiful and youthful. That's cool, I'm in for that. Um, I was thinking this was possibly like a Cover FX custom enhancing drop or like glitter drops, which I already have all of the shades I need of that at the moment. Uh, but it's not, it's skincare instead. And last, this is also in cardboard, and I don't know what this is. This is from Corez. This is the Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Oil. This is the 20 years edition. Got little hearts on it. Um, I have used this before. I had a sample of it. Oh, this is another one of those little bottles. Um, and I forget exactly how you're supposed to use this. Yeah, this is an ultra concentrated vitamin C oil that you're supposed to rub on your face and your neck and avoid your eyes and then put moisturizer in top and then you can go with your makeup and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, I have used this before and I thought it was perfectly nice. Um, I just, I had a sample that I got from somewhere. I don't even know. I'm sure I got it in some sort of box or they maybe threw it in there when I was at Sephora, something like that. I thought it was nice and it smelled good, but uh, will I actually use this? It's possible. Uh, I do like a vitamin C um, product, but I have some other ones, so if I don't get to this one by the end of the month, then I will probably give this to a friend. To be honest, I feel like I struck out a bit this month. There was nothing super exciting. There are some new products that I've never tried before, but they're just not things that are gonna fit into my particular lifestyle. I, and I also just don't like to have too many skincare products open because I don't want them to go bad. So, like the skincare, they're certainly very interesting and I'm gonna try out that Alginist and I'll see if I can get that Cora stuff like on my face at some point, but the Biosense I'm probably not gonna use. And since I don't actually blow dry my hair, I'm going to give that protector cream to someone who does on a regular basis, because I have friends who do that. As for the two pieces of Tarte makeup, that's kind of lame. Um, that blush, I mean everybody got that blush for free last year, and I actually had a second one because somebody gave me their extra one because they knew that I liked makeup, and that's the criteria for giving me extra makeup, so you know, that's cool. It's not like it's a bad blush, I'm just personally sick of it because I'm trying to pan it. So. You know, not my favorite bag, still for $10. I'm not complaining, I'm just gonna keep the subscription, but I'm hoping next month will be a little bit more exciting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you've got a suggestion for a video, you can put that in the comments down below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you all soon. Bye!